Hello, everyone. Can I do that? No, no yeah, okay. You can do that. <laughs> do whatever you want. Uh, Mark Maxwell here with Maxwell's House of Music, and here's what's happening. Um, we're building a small studio in here so that we can interview people, you, uh, anybody that has something to say or somebody that we find interesting that walks in our door. And uh, I don't know if this will be a daily series or a weekly series or whatever's going to happen, but very interesting thing happened to me uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, and, and I meet Gavin, and Gavin Pring is a guitar player, singer, uh, and he plays with one of the, uh, best, uh, the best Beatle <laughs> bands in the world. I don't, the, how do you call it? A tribute band? What do you call it? Yeah, it's a tribute, yeah. Okay. So, um, he plays with the Fab Four, and, uh, Gavin, you're from? Liverpool, England. Actually from Liverpool, yeah. England, which is strange. Well, it's, it's good if you want to be, because I'm really bad with accents, so it's good that I had 25 years of learning how to speak like a scouser, which is uh, a <laughs> right. guy from Liverpool, yeah, so I, I teach the other Americans how to say words Do you? properly, yes. <laughs> properly, right. Yeah. Fantastic. So you play the George part. That's correct. And uh, you're here in Jeffersonville because of Abbey Road on the River, yep. which came here three years ago, right. was in Louisville for years, mm -hmm. um, and then Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville's got a killer downtown now. So you know what, I'll be honest with you, I, the, the, this is the third year I've done it, obviously in Jeffersonville. Um, I see the town getting like more influx of money, everyone's a lot happier, everyone's looking forward to it. I, I arrive a couple of uh, days before everyone else arrives, so I get to see like the preparations that are happening. And a lot of people in the local businesses, they're all like getting excited. Oh, Abbey Road's coming, Abbey Road's coming. Yeah. I'm like, I'm already here. One of us is here. <laughs> We're all One. Eyes, you know what I mean? One. I, always, I always arrive at the hotel and it's always like The Shining. It's always just me and like some gardener will say, you've always been the groundsman or whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you, you live in California now. That's correct. How long yeah. have you been in the States? I've been in the States since 2002. And you've played with the Fab Four for how long? Uh, since like two thousand, so it's been about 15, 15 years. Wow, yeah, it's been that's a long fantastic! Time. And you guys play all over the country. Play all over the world. Yeah. All over the world. Yeah. So I, I covered my fifty states uh, about a year ago. To, uh, I was actually on a flight. Someone was sitting next to me, like yourself, quite a gregarious gentleman. And right. He was like saying, "How many? Is how many? St yes, yeah, it's, it's good. Gregarious yeah. is good. I'm good. I mean, he told me um, I was Matthew McConaughey yesterday, so I just <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. I was waiting for that. All to right. Happen. Here we go. <laughs> I was on a plane, and I had uh, I, some gentleman said to me, "How many states have you done?" And I said, "48." And he said, "Which two states have you got left?" And I said, "Hawaii and Alaska." And uh, I landed, and you know, you have your plane on airplane mode. I took me airplane, airplane mode off, and uh, we got two gigs for the next month, and they were Hawaii and Alaska. Oh you my know, gosh. So I did, me, I did me 50 states, I did the last two in the same month. Yeah, wow, kind of that's good. fantastic. But you guys play all over the world. Yeah, I play, uh, I can't even name them all. I played in the Middle East, actually, played in Dubai, played uh, obviously England, um, just played a gig in China. Played in Japan, which I really liked because we went to the uh, site where the Beatles played um, over in Japan. What was the name of the, 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 the place? It was the uh, where they used to have the sumo wrestler Budokan. Oh yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yes. And uh, and that was like a dream come true for me to go to Japan. And, me uh, too. I got to go a few years ago, and uh, it's magical. Though. It is magical. It, it's I don't know what to say, man. The people and just. Yeah. Everything about it is magic. Everyone wears gloves, don't they? That's oh, they like, do. Everyone's it's just clean. They're clean. Gloves. They're all in yeah. nice. They dress nice. Yeah. They, everybody in service to you, you know it because yeah, yeah. of the you know matching outfits. And it's just, I just thought it was the most amazing place yeah. I've ever been. The only problem that we aren't with going to the Middle East, uh, sorry, the Far East, is that the word for is death over there so you know like in america when you have like <laughs> it is it's true when you go through on an elevator in, in uh or a lift in england an elevator in in america and the 13's missing because it's like unlucky so 12 and then 14 and blah right. it's like that in uh, japan and, and korea we played in south korea uh it goes one two three five six seven you know what i mean because four is uh is it literally means death so we had to be called the beatles again Really? Because anyway, we couldn't be the Fab Four, yeah? Because it'd be the Fab Death. So when you counted you know our I mean? songs, it was one, two, two three, five, the go! Five, yeah, I hope <laughs> we just missed that one out and screwed it all up. One, two, three, <laughs> ba, 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 one.
Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anyway, so uh, I get a call yesterday from a business down the street about a mile or two, and um, it was telling how Scott's, we met. Scott's Mobile Electrics. Yes, very nice guy. He, uh, he installs uh, 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 stereos and everything, lights, LED stuff in cars, right. vehicles. And you were there looking for a cable, and he called yeah. me on my cell and said, hey, I've got this guy from England here. Just weirdo. He, he, he walked in looking for this. You guys have these parts. And I was like, yeah, I have these, you know, the yeah, cables yeah. and stuff. And, uh, and then I, he put you on the phone and you said, hey, I'm just going to walk down to your store. Yeah. And it was pretty hot yesterday. Like the sun was beating down pretty good. And I thought, you know, I, had to, I was running to the bank. And then all of a sudden, he, I decided after the bank, I thought, I'll go and see if this crazy dude is going to actually walk all the way to our store down 10th Street. And I get about three quarters of the way down, and there he was. At least somebody walking on the street. And I rolled down my window as I'm driving by, and I'm like, you from England? <laughs> and he just looks over and goes, yeah. And then so I whip around. He gets in my car, not knowing yeah. if I'm going to kill him or anything else. Yeah, I still don't know. I'm yeah, that's true. I think he's prepping me for something. I'm going to be a lampshade. In no, his, I just felt his, bad for you. garden or something. Uh, oh. My hair's going to be the fringe of the lampshade. Uh, <laughs> it's not, you know it's I mean? possible. It's possible. No, but the funny thing for me was, uh, I, I, the first time I came to America was in San Francisco. And every 10 feet I went, there'd be like a homeless guy who'd ask for money from me. And I kept giving like everyone money. And then I didn't have any money because I was giving it to everyone else. So uh, I was like, you know, I come up with an idea. And I was like, well, if, I, if I'm going to be in a place with a lot of homeless people, I don't like to give them nothing. But I obviously don't want to give uh, everyone me money. So I, uh, I, I had five bottles of water. I'd just gone to the gas station because someone had told me if you're going to walk up to this uh, Maxwell's music, uh, you know, music house, house of music, uh, you're going to need, uh, you know, give some money to the homeless. I was like, well, you know what? I'll give them water. So I had like five bottles of water. He really did. I was walking along. <laughs> And then some guy with long hair goes, are you from England? And I don't know who he is, but I went, yes, I am. And he just like, went past and I was like, carried on walking. He was like, stay there. And I was like, oh, no. And maybe I owe this guy money. But then he picked me up and yeah. uh, I was like, my wife actually said, do you get in the car with like a stranger? I'm like, I just had a good vibe from it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know. It is kind of strange. I mean, I don't know. Well, but I think differently, don't I? You know what I mean? I'm English. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of trust people a lot, you know, and uh, was it shame on if you fool me once, shame on you, but fool me twice, shame on me. But I'm, I, I, I get fooled like 16 times yeah. in a row. I don't know, what is it at that point? Shame I, on me, 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 me. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like, I think you're probably right. Well, anyway, so, but you're not here to play with the Fab Four. You're here to do a solo thing, mm -hmm. George Harrison. Yep. You've got two shows, one coming up this Thursday. That's correct. Uh, 5.30-ish? Um, yeah, I think, it, I, th I think the th first one's 6.30. Okay. And then the second one's 5. We'll just get there to 5. And then you'll at least yeah, everything will be fair. Right. At least you covered both bases. So tell me about Thursday's show with you. Thursday's show is going to be uh, a, a recreation of a concert that George did in 1991 with Eric Clapton. It was called uh, Live in Japan. Was the album, and uh, you know there's a lot of arrangements of the songs that are not normal uh, for the you know the record versions. And so I have a guy from Brazil called Danilo Fiani and all his other Brazilian brothers coming over to uh, drink Jeffersonville Drive. That's the first thing they're going to do. There's going to be no alcohol. Nice. And the second thing is that they're going to be performing with me on this show. And then the same group of people are going to be doing a show on Friday. And I think that one's at five. Um, just get there to five. Um, <laughs> right, both at Concert for Bangladesh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a full recreation of the Concert for Bangladesh. Um, except for one of the songs, they, uh, Leon Russell did um, Jumpin' Jack Flash. Yes. But the good thing is, Danilo Fiani actually plays uh, Mick Jagger in a tribute act to the Stones. So I'm going to just do the Stones version. I'm having him jump around, you know, because uh, Leon yeah. Russell was kind of stuck to the keyboard. So I'm just going to say, look, George didn't have Danilo Fiani, otherwise he would have done this. And I'm down, down, you know, we'll just yes. start it. Yeah, because that's very awesome. Uh, my dad's uh, friend, Jack, played bass for Leon Russell. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, I remember him being up at our house when we were kids and, and hearing stories. That's brilliant. Crazy stories. Yeah. Great, yeah. great Leon Russell stories. Anyway, uh, okay, so <clears throat> let me think. What else are you doing? Uh, uh, when you're playing, you know, I've, I've learned some stuff about what you're doing. When you're playing in uh, doing the... Full Beatle thing, you're playing a Gretsch a lot of the time? Yeah. So yeah. is it most of the show you're playing the Gretsch? Um, yeah, we have a Gretsch. Uh, I have four guitars that are generally playing the show, and we have a Gretsch for all the early stuff, usually a Tennessee and 
or a uh, country gentleman. Country gentlemen, we have three of them on the, on the road. And then you have like a uh, Rickenbacker 360 12 string for the Hard Day's Night stuff. And then a Rocky, which is a Strat that's being painted, which he painted around the Magical Mystery Tour. And then I have a later guitar that covers all of Back in the USSR and some of that later stuff, Revolution. And uh, get back and I usually have an SG for that. So I have a Gretsch, Strat, Rickenbacker. <laughs> I cover all of them. So right, yeah, yeah, sure, all that's, the, that's all fantastic. Of the, uh, makes, yeah. I love this. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited, one, to go down. I've never been, I hate to say this, it's never evil. been to, I, it, it is evil. <laughs> but you know, you're, I'm a musician who plays a lot, yeah, like yeah, yeah. my band plays yeah. a lot, and the last thing I want to do anymore... Go I, see other bands. Yeah, yeah, I mean, most of the time I'm kind of like, well, I've had enough or that, you know. Yeah. But I'm excited this weekend to come and see you play and to see this whole uh, event. So, I, you know, everybody out there, go to Abbey Road. That's all I can say. Go try it, test it out. My friend Mark Langley, who used to own Clifton's Pizza, is here, and he has been uh, a gazillion times in his life. Uh, and you know, I've been invited. I was telling you, I try I've been on this kick of trying new things. Right. And so this is going to be one of my new things. New things yeah, yeah. yeah. Baked it, fish today. Yes. Uh, I've been the river. I'm not much of a baked fish guy. I have to. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was good with it the was hot good, sauce. Yeah, yeah. Well, hot sauce makes everything taste better. That's what we've, <laughs> we've, we've, discovered. we've discovered. Hot sauce can go on at bad apple pies and it will taste better. <laughs> There's no yeah. bad apple pie. Okay. There is no bad <laughs> Okay. See, I've, I've like now... You're messing up America thing. here, mister, okay? <laughs> uh, all right, so anything else we need to talk about? Um, no. when, how long are you right. staying in town? Where, when are you going? Well, uh, my wife and son fly in on Thursday evening, so uh, I'm going to be like a spec. I was originally supposed to go to the Philippines on the Saturday, but the gig fell through, so I was supposed to go to the Philippines with the, with the Fab Four. And then uh, my wife was like, well, you're not going now, so what are we going to do? And I said, well, we could just be spectators. So it's good because Thursday and Friday I'll be gigging, put the guitars down, and then I drink and, and, and get to see more of Jeffersonville. This is the most I've seen of Jeffersonville. And, and, <laughs> Ever, no, yeah. But it's good, though, because you took me on the Magical Misty tour yesterday. I kind of did, the, didn't I? Went down to the river, uh, <laughs> saw, um, you tried to make me into a lampshade. Um, we saw the ice cream place down there. What was it called? Yeah, the uh, Widow's Walk. Widow's Walk. And I was like, you know what? My son will love that. There was a few parks down there. And then you told me about the they they raise uh, uh, so that the the, the, the dam the, the dam, yeah the dam, dam yeah yeah they, they do uh, and it's really cool yeah. down there. When do so. they do that? I don't know. I don't know their schedule, but I know I know you can probably uh, yeah, out there though. And yeah, you can. Now don't be. walk out there if you hear these big loud sirens. Yeah, yeah. You'll know the the it's getting ready to. F oh, it's a fill up. Yeah, the what flood. What if you right out in the far end of you're it? You're screwed. Like picking up something, you're like, <laughs> what you do that? Completely screwed. Oh yeah. Yes. Don't do that. Buggered, then. as I'd say. <laughs> Buggered. <laughs> Buggered. Screwed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. I appreciate you one you coming to the music store oh, and checking out all that. the cool stuff. It's a. Uh, it's kind of an interesting store. Listen, this is what I want to say to people. Like, I, I used to fly in all the time. Well, I do fly in everywhere. And uh, I used to go to this uh, recording studio down the street. Uh, I say down the street. It was actually south of Louisville. And, uh, you know, Mark and, and the guys here have, like, uh, rooms that we can actually book and rehearse. Was it, like, $20, $25 an hour or something? Yeah. So it's like, it's real, real uh, you know, I'm not saying cheap. It's really affordable, and uh, a lot of the musicians, if any of you are listening, it's just straight down East 10th, so it's literally a mile and a half. Listen, I walked a third of it yesterday, <laughs> so it's, it's not that far. But you can come and get all your stuff here, and I, I posted your, uh, your, your your site here on the on the thing, and I've got a lot of you. will probably see some of the musicians will be coming in over the next couple of days. Cool, yeah. Because inevitably they'll have forgotten strings. Musicians are not very good at remembering nah. stuff. Nah, like you know what yeah. I mean. I forgot a car yesterday. That's what I forgot. <laughs> and uh, you did forget you know. a car. <laughs> anyway, hey, thank you. Thanks for stopping by, well, and I appreciate worries. you talking on uh, our new whatever this is. Get Max, to know you. Get to know you. Yeah, get to know you. I like that. That's All cool. Right. Take it easy. Take care, guys.